In this video, we will be going over two methods of taking an inverse of a two by two matrix. So the first way to do this is to write matrix A and augment it with the identity matrix. Then we use row operations to reduce the left side to the identity matrix. And what we're left with on the right side is A inverse. So let's begin this by writing out the matrix two, one, six, five, and let's augment it with the identity matrix, which is just ones along the diagonal with zeros everywhere else. So now all we need to do is reduce this side to the identity matrix, which means we need to get ones in this position and this position and zeros in these positions. So let's start off by working with the first column. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take row two and I'm going to subtract three times row one. And this operation is applied all across the row on the left side and the right side of this bar. So what I'm left with is a row equivalent matrix of two, one, one, zero, and then six minus three times two is zero, and five minus three times one is two. And then on the right side of the bar, we have zero minus three, which is negative three, and one minus zero is one. And now we can take this first row and divide by two to get a one in this position. And when we do that, we get another row equivalent matrix, which is one, one half, one half, zero, and zero, two, negative three, one. So this first column on the left side is good because it matches the identity matrix. And now we just need to work with the second column now. So I'm going to take row two and I'm going to divide it by two in order to get a one in the bottom right hand corner. So when I perform this operation, this first row remains the same. And then the second row is all divided by two. So zero, one, and I get a negative three halves and a one half right here. And now I'm going to take row one and subtract one half times row two in order to cancel this to zero. So this operation leaves us with one, zero, and then I have one half plus three fourths, which is equal to five fourths. And then I have zero minus one half times one half, which is negative one fourth. And then I have the second row, which all remains the same. So what I've done is I have successfully reduce this left side to the identity matrix, which makes this matrix right here a inverse. But there is another way that we can use for a two by two matrix, and it only works for a two by two matrix. So two by two only. And it's a little trick that we can make use of. And basically it's, it's like this. If we have a matrix A that is of the form A, B, C, D, and this means that we can automatically get the inverse by taking one over the determinant of A times the matrix D, A, negative B, negative C. So basically what this is saying is all we need to do is compute the determinant of this matrix where the determinant of A is equal to A, D, minus B, C, which is just the product of this diagonal minus the product of this diagonal. And then we plug it into this equation right here and just switch the positions of A and D and negate B and C. So considering our original example, where A is equal to two, one, six, five, we can compute the determinant of this matrix as equal to two times five minus one times six, which is equal to four. So one over the determinant of A is one fourth. And then all we gotta do is switch the positions of this two and five. So we get a five and two right here. And then we negate the six and one, which gives us a negative one and negative six right here. So when we distribute this one fourth across all these components, what we get is the matrix five over four, negative one fourth, negative three halves and one half right here. And we can see that this matrix is the exact same as this matrix. It's just a faster way of computing the inverse for a two by two matrix. 
So thanks for watching, and in the next video I will be demonstrating how to take the inverse of a 3x3 matrix.